Oh, unless you want to co kind of go for uh, like a dazzle type hero, uh, just kind of pile on the extra damage. You do want to have a frontliner if possible because your Shadow Fiend does not want to be in the front. But you already have the Shadow Fiend, Shadow Demon, so you have that defensive aspect already. I don't really think they need to pile on that much more to really enable the Shadow Fiend. I think they should just mostly be worried about how do we deal with the Slardar? How do we deal with this Luna? Because, well, I mean, these, these heroes from Secret are... I mean, Shadow Demon's okay at dealing with both of them, but uh, it, it is only kind of slow them down technique and not as much a stop technique for them. I want to see them pick up a Shadow Demon combo and try to just really apply that kill pressure, get that uh, disruption to set up for something. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team ban. Mm -hmm. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team Secrets turn to pick. <laughs> I mean, what kind of horde would they be if they didn't have an ogre on their uh, in their draft, right? That just doesn't make any sense. You need to have the ogre. Lore, we did that. Uh... Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Are those actually? Oh, those were torn. I don't think they're torn anymore, or even anything similar. They're cow-like. They're it's close enough. Close enough. Fearbreaker, I guess, is a uh, one as well. But yeah, for the horde side, they they take out the Marana. They take out the Darkseer. I think Darkseer more uh, mostly just you know for the reasons of Darkseer. Whoa, okay, Earthshaker with Team Secret. I mean, yeah, take out the Marana. Protects you against the Shadow Demon Marauder combo. And that's perfectly reasonable. But Team Secret now have a lot of setup. Earthshaker does really well with Shadow Fiend. Just because you can usually set up with Fissure into two raises. That's pretty easy. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds Go. remaining. Reserve time. Lion. Team Secrets turn to pick. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds Omni remaining. Dire Team pick. Yeah. Templar Assassin. Team Secrets turn to ban. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure about this. This lion pick. Like already, lion is a really clunky hero. He's slow. Needs to get into a good position. You're up against Earthshaker, so already you're going to have to deal with wandering through fissures, so your kind of disable combo is a very low chance of landing properly. And then you're up against Shadow Demon as well, so it's like, you know, Hex into Disruption, and then you're kind of just wasting uh, wasting a lot of that stun duration on nothing. And now with an Omni Knight, it gets even worse. Like, you can't really perform those stun combos if you're Lion. If you're Slaughter and trying to blink in, it's just so difficult because you may blink in, but that target who you're going for is going to get help. Like, everyone pretty much on Team Secret can help each other. Maybe Shadow Fiend is the exception to that. But this is going to make it so that Horde work so hard for initiation and then don't even get their kills. They do have a lot of kind of brute force damage. They can kill Roche very quickly. They can bring down towers. And that's very easy for them. And Team Secret, yeah, maybe a little bit damage light unless Shadow Fiend gets nuts out of control. But... They just need a, a decent carry hero for MP, and then pretty much all those problems are solved. 
Oh yeah. Feels bad. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Dire team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Team Secrets turn to pick. Slark. I demand my credit. I mean, it's just like you, you, you get the damage over time, kind of. From the uh, from the pact, to burn through a fraction immediately. Uh, Horde already will have some issues trapping down these heroes, and now you have to spend even more time trying to peg down a Slark. So uh, yeah, El Slark, that is that is the stuff of nightmares right there. I I like where Team Secret have just they have so many defensive options and a lot of damage with their cores if they're protected well. For Horde, they kind of just have to group up and uh, kind of just smork the enemy towers. Just go in and try to go hard. But if you don't get initiation off, if you don't get a fast blink dagger on one of these heroes, or if you don't catch someone random in the Pit of Malice, then pushing the team secret base is going to be incredibly difficult. Not to be easy, there is... Yeah, I didn't even know you could pause here. Apparently, you can. Version seven. Easy yeah, we, we figured here. it out. Okay, uh, version seven. New technology. Pause during the drop. All right, so you know they left this hanging. It's season break. The show. You know, on Team Secret. <laughs> Some people are calling for Puppy Omni Knight, but I think it's more Keizu Omni Knight. Uh, and a Puppy Shaker, pro possibly a 2 on 2 again. Underlord is pretty easy to bully with a Shadow Demon slot. Maybe they put Shaker there, they could get a kill on Underlord. He he's a hero that can punish at level 1. Mm -hmm. No one has a good amount of regeneration though, so he is going to be kind of ready for this. Although I think Ake spotted him one more time. Seems like maybe, but probably not long enough to see any observer sentry status. So he may waste an observer here or, uh, or sentry. There are no sentries here, so they're not wasting anything. All right. Well, Underlord's still going to go towards that bottom lane, and if they just keep applying the pressure here, if Pilei died does not leave the side of MP, then Underlord, yeah, he can take a couple hits, but he will not be able to take all the hits, especially once Shaker rotates in. Alright, I already feel bad for Lion. I feel like he's gonna be melting a lot. Mm -hmm. Slot's gonna bully him. There's nothing his team can do about it. Calling it, Aki dies at least five times. This yeah, Earthshaker is just really good against uh, Lion. Just because yeah. Lion is the hero that's good on paper. It's like, oh, cool, we got two turns, we got a nice burst, but he has to be the guy that initiative because if he gets jumped, he's. And like yeah. Earthshaker and Lion are actually kind of similar in how kind of slow and clunky they are. You have to be in a good position. 
Mm -hmm. You're really slow and you're usually really poor, so it's hard to get into those good positions. The difference is that Shaker just has more range. So he can yeah. throw out his Fissure and have a little bit more leeway, whereas for Lion, you can't just throw out your spells and be okay with that. You have to kind of get close and micromanage your spells a little bit more. So that, that's really where the difference comes in now. We see Pablo aiming for I'm something cheesy, Korea but uh, nah. sees him. He's not going to... Allowing any of that, but Pablo comes in, so... Yeah, we, yeah, I, I didn't really realize because they have this means they will have a support slaughter. They'll be running around with boots. Really got to make some things happen with that because it's very, very greedy and risky style of play. Excalibur could get blocked out here if he's not careful. Puppy throws it out. Hello, there's real burst damage from mid one to bottom. Kill him off right now. Bottom, what's up? They Four missed their pounce, but we can already see E skill getting messed up in this lane. Very interesting to see the poison being skilled up again. Uh, that, oh, is, is Kazu know, dead? Some top? shadow demons. Yeah, another beam. There's no beam. So, yeah, there, there's a, um, there are some shadow demons that actually skip poison altogether now and max out mm -hmm. the soul catcher with the strong. How strong? But Pablo is just going for courier snipe, and we'll see if secret all for this. Will the donkey get beaten up by the? Oh, I think it will. Oh, oh. no, no, sir. Oh. Puppy calls it. He pings it. No, no, sir. Pablo. Bottle secured. Yeah, I mean, the the call of you whether can't, you, you can't want to... Uh, puppy, come on. Puppy's too seasoned for that. Yeah, cheap Puppy's been trick. around. Yeah, cheap trick. Work for this guy. And yeah, we talk about uh, E-Skill getting hammered in this lane and... He's still level 1, really wants to get that Atrophy Aura up there. But uh, the Firestorm was picked up first to mess up Creep Equilibrium. Should be able to get that now. Keizu already level 3. Give some Contra situation is. He skills actually pretty lucky that he hasn't died yet. If MP hit the first pounce, then I'm pretty sure they would have been able to take him down just with the right clicks and whatnot. He at least has a magic stick now, so the Shadow Poison spam is going to be biting Pi in the ass just a little bit. But uh, he's not really going to be able to contest the Slark. He can stick around and get experience for himself, but once MP gets level 3, level 4, then the Underlord's time gets significantly worse. And not to mention the fact that we still have Puppy to think about, who's trying to pull Wolves to the tower. Can you even do that? I don't think you can. I think he's just slowly farming it up because he has no mana. Looks like he can bring him to the tower. Oh, Pablo going to get caught. Oh, the crush going to land just nice and wow. He has been waiting from minute one. That is a great opportunity to get there. Really threading the wall. Stretching his hero's life pool. Is and then again, getting punished by a rotating slaughter of all things. Nice little gank there. Being worried for Pablo. Souls low. They don't have to worry about Puppy right now, who's just uh, slowly grinding away in the jungle as Earthshaker, which takes a very long time. So mid one is, is kind of on an island by himself, and there's not much that Excalibur can do by himself. Really what shut down the, the shadow field, but he can. If mid one keeps raising, he keeps putting himself in the river kind of middle area. Then that makes it so that Pablo actually does have a chance of landing a crush, even without that Sonic trap as setup. So mid one's got to watch out how many raises he's actually throwing out and how far he actually pushes this wave. Battlefiend's always been that hero since uh, the start of time, you know, that has to rebalance out and how much he puts uh, the gun out there, how defensive he plays it. But now, he's playing very aggressive because he got two buddies in the back there. We'll bail him out in time to need. Middle one does take a side blade hits to the face though. It's not something you really want. I do like this pickup again of that uh, Templar Assassin against the SF. Again, the uh, Horde did pick, uh, I would say Templar does decent against, uh, would have an advantage against. Especially now that she's a kill up, really going to be uh, a favorite against SF. And twice now mm -hmm. they have got a favorite against mid one. Really does matter uh, how they advantage. Slaughter coming in again. Oh, looking for mid one. Does he find it? No. Acres there. That should be uh, how most of your statements end. It's they can't do it because Shaker's there. And Puppy's level three now, so huh. Fissure. Level 1 is, is a wall, but you know, as a stun, as a damaging tool, eh, it's mediocre. So you do, really do need levels. 
in that and you know more thunderation means more time to set up for those raises for mid one who's just constantly shoving in that wave it looks like they should be able to cut any losses from mid one from here on out he also has a little bit of a jungle to work with set up here by puppy so it, it's not bad for uh for secret right now but nice. even official sure he takes minimal oh he still dodged another pounce we're gonna take a beating from this one though oh He's still dead you did three stacks of poison. This is gonna look. This is gonna be close. Four stacks. <laughs> Goodbye. And uh, Pilot Eye is definitely gonna be. He would have wanted to give it to the Sloth, but I think Pilot Eye secretly didn't mind. The extra gold. Uh, meanwhile, top lane has failed to kill this Omni Knight. I mean, repel is a pretty good drug. Omni Knight's the getting. All but oh, he's in oh, danger. That's... Mango immediately. <laughs> immediate TP response as well. Very quick movement there from Secret. Keizu's actually getting a lot out of this lane. CS-wise, he's at 18 now, which is pretty darn high compared to the 6 of the other end on the Underlord. Not to mention the fact that he is level 6. Underlord should be only level 4. Yeah, he is only level 4, so... Yeah, Keizu's getting farm, he's getting experience, and he's doing it without much help. They're Ooh. getting into another fight mid, though. Oh, they got a haste rune of all runes. Always haste. Try and juke it out. Is he going to be able to get out of there in time? He drops that fissure. There is a disruption now. Disrupts the TA. Okay. And mid one even blocking that entrance there. Ensuring that Excalibur doesn't even go through. Get that buff on that Earthshaker. Well, well played there from Puppy. Holding onto that fissure for an opportune moment to juke into the forest. And now with Sanctuary, they heal to full. Dota Spa. Fair and balanced. And MP at sound this not point. the greatest sound ever. Shrine, Sanctuary. The wing of the Shrine, yeah. Yeah, that, that does so pretty good. Therapeutic. And because we've already seen uh, them apply a lot of pressure to the Underlord, MP, I think at this point, can probably do it by himself. Underlord is having oh, a bad time. He's going to leave. Three-man gank on SM, and he stuns up the cat. Battle Demon incoming as well, and a good hex there from Arke means that there will not be a follow-up. It'll disrupt the TA, but I think this means highlight that goes down as well, but the Firestorm be enough. So, uh, unfortunate that he got hit by the uh, spike on the way in, or the credit to RK. But uh, in the end, they do not save the Shadow Fiend, but they do pull four heroes for that gank. And Underlord is just going to get right back to the lane. Sanctuary for them, and they're back at full HP. Feels good on the Dire side this time. But uh, yeah, they, they kill off the Shadow Fiend again, and that is incredibly important. Getting this TA... Up to a point where she could just stand and fight, even without her fraction charges, expecting them to be burned out by the Slark is incredibly important. And uh, just trying to funnel in as much gold as they can into her. They don't really have to work that hard to get it onto Gork, who's having a pretty free time uh, farming himself on top lane. He unfortunately... Oh, oh, oh is he an Eclipse with the stun? Oh, they got him. Oh, little too confident. I was going to say, like, they eclipse... it's really hard to just Eclipse kill the Omni because of Repel and Purification and whatnot. Oh, they're but... looking for him, Pablo. Fish got caught by the fish. So it looks like the small fish eats the big fish. Well, the small fish had help from a cow, so it all makes sense. I feel Everything... like Earthshaker is more like a bear. You think he's a bear? More bear than cow, to be honest. I don't know, it's guys. What do you think? We could pull the audience. What type of animal is the Earthshaker? The audience type, will tell us. Type, uh, reply in all caps, bear or cow. I don't know if that gets you banned by Moobot or not. <laughs> it probably does get you banned. <laughs> oh, you're an evil person. Don't do it. Don't do it. Or do Get it. We don't memes. care. Get life in the meme. Paladise skipping on that soul catcher altogether. So he does like to get something done, you know. Shadow poison, mm -hmm. at least you feel like... <laughs> Shadow demon is that kind of hero, you know. Like, you wait for something to happen and then... You... Most of the time, you're sitting around. Uh, yeah, yeah, the shadow the poison, difference, you got something to do. You, you want to get Soul Catcher generally when you have something that you're setting up for. If you have a Lina or a Kanka on your team or like a Lashrak or something, then you want Soul Catcher. If you don't have that, you don't really need that extra damage because you're not setting up for any big nuke. So you go ahead and get the Shadow Poison, which gives you a little bit more flexibility. It makes Shadow Demon more of a standalone hero as opposed to just like half of a combination. And it's definitely the right build, because you're not, like, setting up for a Fissure. Even if you do Soul Catch a Fissure, it still doesn't really do a lot. Got that Arcane's now building into the Greaves. So nothing special coming out here so far. Both teams are just 
playing it chill, getting the important blink daggers. They have gotten uh, Pablo to the bottom lane to start farming that one up, but I'm not sure he's going to be in time for anything though. Oh, they're going in for that Omni Knight. Oh, the finger of death comes out and that's going to buy the Omni Knight the time to repel and walk away from harm. That is a finger of death down and RK is a little bit sad about that one. Nice movement there from Pilot Die, predicting that. I feel like that was worthy of a Sanctum. <laughs> Yeah, this this keeps the Omni Knight in lane. Uh, if you can somehow manage to get a mechanism on the Omni at around the same time your Shadow Blade is up on the Slark and your uh, well, your Dragon Lance is up on the Shadow Fiend, then you can make some really really big plays. Because that's the timing that uh, Team Secret are looking for right now is just have Slark get a kill, pick off on whoever, and then use the early damage of Shadow Fiend just to bulldoze down the rest of the towers. And bulldozing towers is very easy when you have an Omni Knight already, even easier when your Omni Knight is packing a mechanism. So if you can somehow get that together, they'll be in a great spot. But uh, so far, the items aren't quite yet up. MP, MP just needs a little bit more time. So Horde, they can build up their own items, but in a, a Blink Dagger on Excalibur, as good as that is, isn't really going to be a great response to a Shadow Bladed Slark. Hey, people are not getting banned in chat, so... Someone Bear, said Wookie, cow, I think that guy wins. Wookie's gorilla, right. raccoon. Wookie, Wookie. Wookie's Wookie. right. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll shake sure. him once more. Be known as the Wookie. <laughs> oh man, I, love... I missed Twitch chat, guys. Holiday for too long. Face Twitch chat never ever lies, ever. We have Shadowblade now up on Slark, so here's where uh, Secret are really ready to get going. And what items do we have on the other end? A Blink Dagger on TA, and... Well, that's, that's pretty much it. Helm of the Dominator doesn't really do a ton for the Luna in these type of circumstances. They Engines, will need probably? Finger of Death up if they want to make a big play. Eh, with Eclipse, ideally. If they can get that to level 2, would be great. Slada is still working to that Blink Dagger. He's uh, opted to skip the Iron Talon, so... He will not be able to jungle at a rapid rate. Right now, oh, there's a Shadow Blade MP and he's looking. At, oh, he loses the smoke immediately, so they know something's up, something's fishy. Pablo. I swear that was not intentional there. It, it seems pretty natural, I'll allow it. I swear it was. <laughs> but the, the thing is, they don't know what broke that smoke. It could have been a random scouting Earthshaker, invis, or yeah. it could have been an Invis Rune, or it could have been a Shadow Bladed Slark, like it was. So they don't really get any intel except for, hey, there's someone maybe oh, around okay. here, and Akin will be the run. one to find out. This is death number one, I call five. From Slark? Okay, that's one. So, I call yeah, five. This is where the Shadow Blade engine yeah, kind of This is in. where use the MP pain to get a pick off. poor AK. Use MP to get a pick off, use mid one to kill the towers, and then rinse repeat forever. Shadow Phoenix, go ham on the towers. And those, of course, when you hit level uh, 20, you get bonus damage per soul. Double the damage of the soul. Rack up to some pretty hefty damage. Do you, do you ever see Shadow Fiends go for Aghanims? I don't know. It does increase mm. the soul count now, so. Could nah, work you, with you the just, You just want to be a, a right clicker, pretty much. Yes. They're holding the tower so far, but. Oh, they disrupt the DA. Gonna do minimal damage. This is a very fast scatter fiend with that haste rune. Oh, the slot was looking for target there. He does have shadow dust. This is not the best gank. There's the guardian angel. Keeps everyone invulnerable for now. Blink away from Excalibur. Quick Texas will save his life. They're trying to deny the tower. They will get it. Vision will come out. Arcade deploys that impale, but he gets picked up. The jumps on him. There's step number two. Good. Now running away. Um, from, well, no, Keizu running away from that Templar and the Slaughter. Does he have the Repel? He does have it, though. But there will be a nice stun here from Puppy. The Repel will come out in time as a result. And that enhanced Hordem saves the Omni Knight. Do lose the Shadow Fiend, though, at the back end. So in the end, it was a Horde win, I would say. And with that Shadow mm -hmm. Fiend down, maybe they go for a Roshan. They are low on mana. Oh, Slot going on to Gorge now. Luna in trouble and peril, that Fisher looking for it, but the Slark taking a lot of damage to repel, not enough to bail him out. Where was Pup Stun though? He was looking for a Epic Echo Slam instead of a Fissure there, I think. Dick, and now E-Skill was thinking about that uh, portal out, but in the end decides that it's better to get more free kills and Excalibur now up to a after that big team by Pablo, just sapping all that extra gold.
closer to that blink dagger. Should have it soon. And oh, Sparkalor. That is such a rough engagement there for Secret. Like, they took such a long time to kill off the tower, and they don't even kill it because it gets denied. Lose pretty much everyone because of a rather risky jump there from the Slark over the trees. Forces them to use Guardian Angel much earlier than they really would have liked, because GA it forced Horde back, but it, I don't think it actually had a chance to even get close to blocking any damage. So the GA and the Omnite overall in that fight was... Very, very lackluster. And then in that secondary fight, Puppy gets stunned by, I think, a random crush that was thrown out there right before he's about to get a three, four man Echo Slam. Yeah, uh, things are rough in the secret camp for right now. They still oh, have they jump on Pop now, bottom lane. Wow, that, that one combo just blew mm -hmm. him up. Nah, uh, that Keeping... your, that's your slaughter dead for another few seconds, and that's fine. As long as oh, they can die. Keep uh, MP alive. Highlight that doesn't matter. Keep MP alive, <laughs> keep mid one alive, and they can still execute their plan. I think MP is doing it. Beef of Ake. <laughs> sure. We can, I we mean, can write Slops that one in. Slops just go for support. Slops just go for support. Support player, every support player hates Slop. Oh, there's no way that Secret actually do anything about this, I don't think. There's sentries in the way, East Kill with the Pit of Malice is right outside the Roche Pit. You don't want a Roche fight against a Luna and Underlord, it's danger zone. Yeah, and a TA, who's pretty much at Desolator right now. So, yeah, that's a, that tower deny into just huge loss from Secret gave, uh, gave Horde quite a bit. They are... Pretty freaking wealthy right now. They got a now. mech soon on Underlord. They have Luna with the Dragonlance, Excalibur with Desolator. Secret don't want to be defending. They want to be attacking. Well, game went well early as well for Horde, but uh, they just threw it. Bad. See how they do now? I don't want to cheer them on so much yet. You know, there's some teams where you cheer them on, like, oh yeah, they're doing well and doing well, and then they just disappoint. We'll, we'll just hold back on the compliments for now. No jinx in. And now we, we gotta give credit where it's due. Horde are in a really, really dominant spot right now, as long as they keep their oh, vision. Oh, Excalibur's about to take ages away. He's not. Excalibur just doesn't die like that. So they just have to keep cheater. their vision up and make sure that Excalibur doesn't get cheesed out in that fashion okay. or anything similar. They managed to fissure him in. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I feel like they... MP might have gone for that one just to bait out TPs. The extra space makey. If he had his Echo Saber on his person, then I would think so. But right now, like, with just Shadow Blade treads, I don't really think there's any way for Slark to get away with that. But Echo Saber, that may be a little bit of a turning point. But now he Secrets already, are going to have yeah. to go on the defense with no Blink Dagger on Shaker. So Echo Slam is really, really rough here. Find a tower, the Fissure comes out. Yeah. Block for now, but there's a Slaughter. He does have Blink, though. Careful. The purge came out on Pablo, so he immediately blinked away, took damage. Oh, the slot gonna get hexed! Oh no! That's really vigilant there from heroes and uh, Aki says, not this time, Fishy. Comes in, they're gonna lock down that. Oh, they're locking that slot, but that raise, that last raise, a little bit wide. Not gonna catch him. The secret might just be to their base really early in this game. They can do that suicide run into Dark Rift if they really need to, but with no Slark to worry about, there's really not that much pressure going towards them. Again, Omni Knight, Shadow Demon, Earthshaker as kind of like their supporty hero secret aren't really that dangerous until Shaker gets a Blink Dagger. Then it's somewhat dangerous, but uh, there really isn't much threat here now that the Slark is dead. So Horde walk in, take the Tier 2 Tower. They still have the double life on the Templar Assassin. They have the luxury of going to similar lanes and just repeating that. Like, there's two towers on bottom that I'm pretty sure Secret can't adequately defend, especially with these new items coming up on all of the Horde heroes. So what Secret have to do is try to find someone who's off on their own with the Slark and try to just, I, I guess, trade towers with Midwan. It's a... Uh, I mean, their, their strategy is more of a protect... Uh, protect whoever you jump on and then strike back kind of strategy is more of a say it's a tai chi style. There's a nice portal down like, to the bottom. What is, what is a tai chi kind of style, I said? Is it, is it, tai chi is like a style of uh, martial art where you use your enemy's force or maybe Aikido. That, that is not tai chi. 
That's that's more Akito. Judo. Probably Akito. Oh, am I pronouncing it right? I'm thick Asian. Money oh, <laughs> the truth comes out, I guess. Oh, it's been out there for a while. I can't speak. I can't read Chinese <laughs> that well. I can minimal Chinese. I, I I get by. Man, we can barely speak English well on this stream. Why are people even here? Makes no sense. Uh, by the uh, way, all the towers on bottom lane, Horde just plow right through them. I don't think they can go for high ground right now. Uh, I mean, they have an Aegis on Excalibur, so they might as well see what damage they can do. But they always have... Oh, they actually already Luna? used Dark Rift. They're just going to start chipping. Luna. Luna, let her destroy her team. The weakness of Luna, Shadow Demon. Destroys her own team. But, uh, they have Ake, though, so it's like... Shadow Demon countered with Mana Drain Hex. Kills yeah. off those illusions. If, if it's really a problem, which it really shouldn't be at this stage, not that much of a problem to waste your Hex on. But that's, but, that's uh, Slot's job, right? That MVP, Ake. Okay. MP definitely is farmed enough to do that, but now that Horde are 5 manning, how do you actually split Horde up and then kill them with Slark? You gotta kinda just get the kill with the Shadow Dance and hope you don't immediately die after that ends. And I'm not really Walking sure if that's good. in the car oh, up against Caliber. all the traps. Gotta get caught out here by the slot. Checking out. I'm gonna go in. I feel like he could man fight Excalibur, no? Oh, the Aegis goes down. Well, now he might be able to man fight Excalibur, but he doesn't know who's right next to him. Don't want to take any chances. Yeah, they're going for the shrines, the tier twos, and then the shrines. Hey, really careful, there's a night vision from the Luna as well. They have to play it very safe. There's a portal from the Underlord, and he's here. Well, he used it to join a team, meaning he won't have that uh, uh, ability to escape. Mm, but they get a... Yeah, they get smoke, but more importantly, they have four sentries now. So Slark's BKB initiation for Excalibur, is... that's big. Uh, be a big turning point here for... Uh, not turning point, but... Oh, oh, wow. Oh, MP. Oh, MP, gonna juke that one right off, but there's no Aegis, the slot goes in, jumps on the Luna, baits out the Eclipse there, Keizu immediately pops that Guardian Angel, the Echo Slam comes in, does minimal damage, the Raccoon of Souls, everyone on the horse so reduces their damage, slows them down a little bit, deploys that BKP, but so far they've managed to equalize the Pit of Malice, still doing stuff in the middle lane, Pablo jumps in there, there is Excalibur with the follow-up and the finger of one is out of the fight, MP dropping low as well, Excalibur re- Reactivates that refraction and he will stay alive for now. 5 to 11, the Horde are slowly clawing an advantage. More and more advantage against Secret here. 5 to 11, the net worth looking pretty scary for that Templar Assassin. Line here. An MP can't hold this back on his own. Puppy does have a Blink Dagger, but he has no Echo Slam, so yeah, that's pretty rough goings. Once PKB comes up, or just Mechanism comes up, another 20 seconds, they can guarantee this tower if they really want to push it, but or know that they're really in no rush. Losses sustained in that last fight, pretty much nil for them, even with everything going off for Secret, uh -oh. and in a pretty good spot as well. Uh, they kind of botched their initiation onto a Slark who just happened to be Dark Pacting at the time. That should have been a lot better for Secret, but Horde are somehow able to get away with a lot of tower damage for one thing, and also no casualties. They can reset and just wait for another Roche, or just go for the tower once they fill the tank again. The uh, BKB, I think it was good to back off when that BKB was off cooldown. And this game, you can almost see Horde stepping up their game, not playing anything crazy, not having those weird clunky team fights we saw in the last one. And after, you know, we kind of, you know, flamed his Luna, I uh, know, his Lion pick a little bit, but been uh, handling the hero pretty well. It doesn't feel as clunky as we thought it would be. Getting that Blink Dagger is definitely a help. And it's been shutting down a lot of the key initiations here on Secret. And now they're gonna get wrapped around as Pablo. And there's the portal in as well. Keizu get caught out here. Maybe go for a bash or kill him off. One more hit will do the job, but no. A skill. Playing a little bit too late there. Excalibur able to bust the Elmi Knight down. Would have been a big kill as well. Yeah, it would have guaranteed this tower and therefore all the shrines, but I'm pretty sure they still get this. They're is 10 seconds of leeway between uh, this push and having Echo Slam for Secret, so yeah, Luna can just make short work of this, even through the fortification. Lock goes into Invis again, but the sentry coverage has been mm -hmm. pretty top for this game. 
it goes in, it goes for. Oh no, oh. the epicenter! Oh my god, the echo slam gonna miss completely. They lose the tower. The deny comes out shadow for the shadow fiend though. They lose their earth shaker as a result. Yeah, it's quick high fingers ground. there from Excalibur, and that's high ground. Yeah, the pit of malice now gets deployed. Yeah, spike goes through. RK was looking. Uh, pin down that mid one. Shadow fiend doesn't have that BKB. He has to be very, very careful how he. That was even kind of poorly played from Pablo. I think he botched a blink press or something. Like, they could have easily at least made an attempt at the Shadow Fiend's life if they landed that crush, but uh, they just happened to miss it for whatever reason. They'll take out the Shrine. They'll take out Roshan. It's only an Earthshaker kill, but that's still 110 seconds where they don't have to worry about this Echo Slam. That means Rosh is pretty darn safe. Like, Requiem is pretty strong here, but everyone else on the secret side aren't really that powerful fighting in or around the Roshan pit with no Echo Slam available to them. So it's a clean double life, probably for this Luna. Yeah, uh, the high ground push is incoming. Yeah, it's... Uh... And that's, that's one of the reasons why Luna is so popular now, because five manning has been encouraged uh, with shrines. And uh, Luna is one of the best five man heroes. Life. But that balling is definitely back in a guy for anyone. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wouldn't go that far, but yeah, yeah it's not it, that it is definitely far, like but... enforces that balling is definitely in play and quick tower. Well, Luna's pushes. picked almost every game, and that's also why we see more lone druid because he's able to kind of get into a position with his bear to kill off uh -oh. a tier two. Puppy, no. Run, Papa, and run. Oh, I think he's dead, guys. He's dead on my screen. What about yours? Yeah, I think he's pretty dead here. They're looking at MP. No, he's Shadowblade now. But yeah, that's why we see Lone Druid a lot, because his bear with the range is able to take down all the outer towers. And then once you get to the high ground, you have all that range. So you can take down the tier threes as well. Uh, it's now the the, the Talon Druid, right? And the Talon. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the insane talents at 10 and 15. Sniper oh, Druid. Oh, the Got the Shadow Blade off, so that's nice. Very weird how that works sometimes. Kind of a second. Close with Excalibur, and again, this Underlord just showing the power of that hero. Ultimate bringing in his Luna. He has so a pipe. Push the top, bring the wave closer to the enemy base, and then they come in with this Underlord. Very, very well done. And uh, Paladai says he wants a clone of those. I'll take me a pair of Lunas. There you go. Okay, and they're gone. shuts them <laughs> down. That's why you have that lion pick. The lion only has one sentry right now, but there are more coming. They should play this a little bit slow. With the pipe, mechanism, and Aegis right now, Horde uh, really just have until they run out of Aegis to make this push happen, which means that they can set up... For as long as they want, send another like three, four waves of creeps in and just have the Templar Assassin and Luna chip at it. Secret are not getting anything in the meantime. There's no one else cleaning out any lanes, no jungle camps, nothing. So yeah, Horde have all day here. Uh, well, that is a BKB applied to that Luna now. So this, this is problematic. I, I'm not sure Secret can hold the line. It will be a miraculous hole. It will take some takes from Horde, I think. Mm -hmm. Salibur has been playing pretty pristine at this point. Uh, the Fusal Blade now activated on him. But I'm not going to do anything against the Repel now. Soul Catcher deployed there. Oh, that's a oh, big crush, dodge. but it's going to miss completely. And the Fissure will trap him there. Now, uh, MP leaps forward. Lost hope for a pick there, but the Lunar Clones will push away that Creep Wave. And Light Horde will be repelled once again. But that tower is awfully low. 300 health remaining. The Aegis still has two minutes to go, so pretty fresh on that one. That was a sick Manta dodge from mid one. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a range thing, it was just a Manta invulnerability thing, but can you do it again? Oh, a nice fissure though, traps out the Luna, there's the disruption. Going up the SF, saves him from the crush, and Gorge taking quite a bit of hits there, he will lose Still his moving. life. Six SF stole, not the bigger deal. deal. MP, gonna really not like this BKB though. There's the BKB, the Eclipse, and now counter BKB from MP, he's gonna get hit by a Desil. A lot of damage, he pops that Shadow down, steals up the... The agility here from that Luna, as careful his BKB is wearing off, the Pit of Malice is a really good control tool. The Horde will actually re actually be repelled there, so Aegis loss and uh, BKB's pop could hold the line. Great high ground defense. Secret were just really well spread out there, so Pablo didn't really have any good chances to get a good initiation off. 
And if Pablo doesn't start the fight, then Excalibur is definitely not going to jump in afterwards. So it really just is the Luna Ooh, did that uh, they... by herself. But... Well, look at all the sentry. Real yeah. Close. Okay. Is it death number three for him? Is it death this... number three? Oh, that's the Fisher. Jump forward. There we go. Give me a lion. Oh. Four stops. But then, oh. and now the BKB from Excalibur. He shots the Shadow Demon. Poor Pylite died. There's the Guardian Angel. MP taking a lot of damage. He jumps to the fat Underlord. Unable to escape. And he loses his this risky aggression. Secret might have just opened the doors, laid out the carpet for Horde. Because they are walking back down to the bottom lane. That's that uh, time that Ford had earlier to set up take forever is what rewarded them for with that with that play. Like if they don't have sentries there, then yeah, they may just lose someone. The fissure catches onto two, and then Slark somehow doesn't land the pounce angle correctly. The fissure mechanics maybe we could blame for that one, but uh, the gates are once again wide open for Horde, and Excalibur is doing some pretty decent damage. He's no BKB, but oh, he has Pablo. Ooh. Two shot the Shaker? Yeah, that's pretty good. Damn. One of Excalibur's uh, top heroes as well, this Templar Assassin. Now the Purge has been used, so Gord gonna feel pretty safe about marching up. Oh, he does have that BKB, a buyback from Puppy with an Echo Slam, is it enough? The BKB, BKB there. He'll make sure that the Luna gets out of there. There we go, the Uber driver. Gonna come in and ring the bell, says, hello, friends, leave. Yeah, they all get out of there, so safe. Buys back for nothing, and MP. It's gonna be pretty pissed. That's twice RK has uh, cock blocked him. And now we have I think the that gem time was up. more of the pounce. Pounce missing on the lion initially. If they got to the lion early, maybe it would have been different. Yeah, it definitely would have uh, messed with the positioning of Horde at the very least, and you know, take off Finger of Death from the table, take off all those spells from the table as well. It would have been a, a really different fight if that was actually going to happen, but you know, speaking of different fights, Daedalus? Is that a one-shot Daedalus from Excalibur? Sure, that, that seems fair. We also have a gem on e-skill, so MP's form of initiation is, is not even really that strong at the moment. Like, he's gone for the BKB pretty much out of necessity, but even if he jumps on someone, if it's not a support, with Echo Saber Shadow Blade only, I don't think you can very easily get those kills, even if you do land the Shadow Blade hit. And with the gem up, I'm not really sure how you land that Shadow Blade hit to begin with, so... Hordes, they can just manage the map right now, just keep pushing in everything, get a little bit more farm, and wait for the next Roche. One thing to note as well, mid one is zero and four in the Shadow Fiend, so this pick not really working out for him. There's that uh, early kind of pressure from this Slardar. Pablo is, he has been where he needs to be for the most part. A couple botched crushed here and there, whatever it happens, but yeah, slowing down that Shadow Fiend and accelerating Excalibur, we see a 5,000 net worth difference between these two heroes, and I want to say most of that we can give credit to uh, the Slaughter for. Thunderlord, a real force to be reckoned with now. It's got the pipe, it's got in Greaves, just that uh, fatty in the way. Trophy aura. I would say that that aura has been causing oh, okay. a lot of problems as well. Well, that's death number three. He, he just blinked into literally the entire secret draft. Why did I get the rune? Well, he did tank the smoke, right? So sure. There's that. I guess we can say he tanked the smoke. It's better to him than anyone else. And the line with the blink respawn dagger time doesn't timer, mean anything man. He's else. back already. Bet. Thirty second respawn time reduction. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. OP. Uh, puppy. Oh, no. uh, Shaker, run, puppy, run. Oh, he just used his fissure to farm. I'm gonna echo uh, the run away. He actually did it. Batman. Mad lads. <laughs> he still dies anyway. Well, that's a report for puppy. He skills Pablo, not going to take any get chances, out well. not knowing exactly where the Slark is, they're just going to bail out. You do not want to lose the gem there. They make the safe play. And this is actually going to give them a pretty good window, about 40 seconds to take Roche, where Earthshaker is not going to have his Echo Slam. Oh, they jump onto the Luna. Let's have a haste though. And Frost Armor. So they're really just trying to shut down this Slark's damage output. SF2. 
It doesn't slow SF, only Lich's one. I mean, it's just it's just armor. Yeah. Oh, they stole the catapult as well. That's extra damage by mid one. It's got to repel, but is that going to help with that constant DPS coming up from the Templar Assassin? And now Roll just pops that BKB, says, I'm going to take a free Rax. He just immediately pieces out. Dude, finish it there from Puppy, though. Locks in the Luna, but there is an invasion uh, from the Butterfly, so not going to be easy. There you go. The full stuff as well to the low ground means they get away with free melee Rex. Hey, you use BKB to take down a Rax. You can uh, get away with that for quite a long time. And hey, look at this. Roshan is up as well. Horde don't quite know about it. They're kind of hungry for blood here. But they're going to ping out Roshan or someone's going to ping out Rosh. So they'll go right back in for that. 30 seconds left for another Echo Slam. I'm not really sure if Secret can do anything about this. Like, even if they land a Requiem right at the mouth of the pit, like, is that going to be enough with the amount of damage Excalibur's putting out? Oh, BKB pop there. MP looking for a kill down the Luna. Gorge dropping very low. A pounce there. Latches, and they do find a Luna. This could be a turning point here for Secret. Oshan is up. They do not want to fight without that Luna. Maybe it might be forced to buy back there. Fissure blocks it. Fatty. They will get the, oh, the gem. kill under lot and they get the gem as well. MP definitely smelling blood in the water there. The Silver Edge, a big deal as it is able to allow him to do the damage he needs to. And this Aegis is going to be uncontested. No, sir. They do not want to do that. They will not take that line down. Two big buybacks there, though. This could potentially be, potentially be game losing if Horde loses another fight. Oh, they have no gem careful. either. No true sight at all for Horde. Yeah. They want to challenge this Roshan. Oh, the purge on Pablo. Flock smells blood in the water. He says, I want that small fish. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Gets that kill. The buyback comes out. Oh, Horde are leaking a, a lot of buybacks here. They have to be very careful. The pit does prevent pounce for about a while there. But Excalibur getting oh, caught TA. by the Fissure. This is not good news. He's cornered out. There could be a bad fight coming in. Gorge pops that BKB. They lose Excalibur. MP has got 29 essence shit. This is really dangerous. Are you really doing Roshan in the middle of this fight? Ake pops the Ghost Scepter. Gets out of there, but Puppy lands the X Slam. Lost down heroes. The slot very low in health. Will back off a little bit. Try and get some regen going. Mid one has to be careful. Pops the Manta. Dodges for a little bit, but Templar's there to receive him. Gets the kill. That's a big one to get, but slot does he come back in? He has it. 41 essence shift stolen. Yeah, time for the or does he just give up the ages? Yep, he does give up the ages, so they will get it on the Luna, so they will not punish for those massive buybacks. Or uh, really, really close to losing the game there, or losing a big advantage. They still don't have the gem. The Slark is able to slip away with that one, so he's able to do a lot more now, especially with the Silver Edge. Being able to break some of these Horde heroes, if that is able to stick, then. Uh, you know, locking down Excalibur's damage output is big game. There is still buyback here on the Shadow Fiend, so they are certainly at full strength, but this is pretty risky for Horde, a pretty all-in move. Even with this Aegis, even with the Cheese, even with the advantage that they do have, having very few buybacks means that Ooh. if this fight goes south, they might just lose off the back of it, or at least lose a set of Raxes. Oh, no, they forced off the Shadow Demon in. Nice move there from Pablo. Forced off the Shadow Demon aggressively. Puts him into harm's way. MP in now. Has play. Bridge and one forced to buy back there immediately the uber pops and very annoying play. now they can uh fix up their items spend a little bit of that gold if they even have any gold like just butterfly ac and production for Templar assassin but everyone having to buy back means that there's no additional items here so they force out the buyback on the Shadow Fiend. They have been getting damage done on this bottom lane, and uh, I guess to some extent the mid lane in the meantime. Tier 4 tower was taken while that fight was happening, so Border's still in a pretty damage. advantageous position outside of the fact that they pretty much have no more buybacks, so they could win or lose in a, in a very small amount of time. This Shaker needs to land a good Echo. I think if he is able to do that, if he's able to protect the Shadow Fiend and Slark so that they can do damage, and they might be able to put themselves into a winning or uh, let's just say stabilizing position. Oh, this this war. Do you remember this one? Horde fell to that the last game. Will Secret. Well, everyone on Secret's top. Falling for cheap. Yeah. They. they uh, I don't think they actually Slot, saw. Slot lost all his uh, essence shift charges. So. 
I don't think they saw exactly where Horde are. They saw Ake pop out just then of the smoke on bottom lane. Horde are just going to keep 5-manning. I don't think they have a lot of true sight, though. They have a sentry on Ake. And that's not really what you want when you're planning on roaming the enemy jungle and trying to lock that down. And there's a 20,000 gold lead now on Horde, so I really don't want them to notice. It would be really bad for Team Morel. <laughs> But you know, secret, secret. You know, they got a match against Navi later, so don't want to be drained. But you know, pro teams, they should be used to these long hours by now. Mm -hmm. You want to get as many wins to ride on momentum as possible. But uh, for you guys just tuning in, we are uh, in. We are playing through the group stages, Secret versus Horde right now. It's one zero in favor of Secret, and after this match. We will have uh, Navi versus Adfinim, so I get to watch the new Navi lineup, you know, cast them firsthand rather than just watching. Re Exciting! Find out if uh, Navi is back. Okay. Oh, MP. Oh, he sees Pablo. Yeah. Does he go for Pablo? No BKB. Oh, nice vision from Puppy. Finds him. Oh, but there's, there's that Trophy Aura. A little bit difficult. Back actual slam coming out here. From and he's going for the. Spada, but not gonna be able to find him in time. Now he's caught out. He's in a lot of trouble. He gets popped. Shadow dance, and uh, I don't know why he didn't actually. But he didn't have TP as well. Maybe he wanted to save it for the buyback use. Because he would definitely have to buy back here. So I'm not sure what he's waiting for. Time to do it. Do it. MP a little bit too aggressive there. Right now, this is gonna be a trouble for them. They start up the Omni Knight. He's gonna be trouble if he doesn't get to pop his thousand times. Disruption will save his life. The Rack Grim comes out. Slot getting stunned up by RK. RK just staying safe for now. Leap onto the Excalibur. Excalibur doesn't have BKB, so now stealing away his stats there. Shadow Dance popped there. They lose all their Rexes though. So Mega Creep, Dire. So they oh, bail Excalibur. out with the end. Oh, they bail. They leave Excalibur. Times like they gotta leave some onto the walls. But it is Mega Creep, so I'm not sure Secret have it in the hold the line. Now uh, it might actually be game as a result. So we'll have to see. Maybe a final push from them. They have the Templar with no buyback. The ground, so... One minute and 45 seconds to make something magical happen. Can Secret do it? They're, they are truly going to need something miraculous. Uh, Horde chain feeding would probably be uh, the most likely thing to happen if Horde just suddenly start A moving down the lane. They have their gem back though. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Arcade's revenge. <laughs> Chopchen. Beast Fissure will stay there alive, but nice and in the lion. Ake really does not like this slot. Uh, really on point with this lion so far. Pablo goes in, finds Pile I Die. So that's Pile I Die in the ground. Water. Right now, Secret's chances do not look good, but then again, might as well just try. 40 seconds left for TA. Or just have to uh, play the map control game at this point. As long as they still hold on to the gem, make sure they have some backup sentries on Ake when or should the gem fall. It should be in a pretty good spot just to have this game locked up. Like the lack of buybacks, it was a weakness for Horde. Like if two or three people died for them on this top lane fight without taking mega creeps, then yeah, Secret would still be in a, a pretty decent spot to take this game, or at least have a, a good chance at fighting back. But uh, we have a little bit of an issue in the fact that uh, the Underlord has that pipe. A lot of magic damage is being blocked out from the secret end. Like Echo Slam, it was pretty good positional uh, position wise in that last engagement, but it needed to land such so that it protects the Shadow Fiend and Slark. Like you just need it as another stun at the bare minimum. If your Echo Slam is too far away from your Shadow Fiend and Slark, then it's a bad Echo Slam regardless of how many heroes. No it is. Ravage. It's a. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's more like a it's like a starter for a combo stun. Hit with the Echo and then you follow up with Fisher and Enchant Totem. But the AoE is not big enough where you can catch most of the heroes. Tord has been pretty good with this. I think ultimately I would say the the main issue with this art not being effective, the Underlord's aura really neutering a lot of his damage because all his damage comes from stat mm -hmm. base. Almost all of it comes from stats shift and whatnot and 40 percent of that is cut pretty yeah, big that, deal that does hurt a lot an underlord is just like impossible to kill at this stage because he has the pipe and he's got the guardian greaves you, hit him with the silver edge, you might get him 
Hit him with the Silver Edge. Oh, MP yeah, goes for the ward. You can get that close. They got him once. But uh, yeah, Mega Creeps here for Secret. This is not a Mega Creep holding lineup. Can they do it? They might borrow Luna for it. Gotta slowly chip away here for Hordes. Slow Maybe and steady. Oh. That's the Hurricane Pie, mid one. Down, oh, they jump forward. They are with the Silver Edge. Kill a wolf. We now, oh, Pablo goes in again, but this is a juke by that Shadow Fiend. They're allowed to play the Monkey King Bar from mid one. It's gonna do quite a bit of damage here. They'll hold the line for now. Don't think they got a chance in this. Secret are holding on. I am skeptical. But... Never give up, never surrender. It will be. The real fight is gonna come when Horde come in with another Aegis and another Cheese. Should be happening in about 30 seconds. So, uh, yeah, Secret will have no counterplay to that as far as crashing the Roche Pit is concerned. They kind of have to sit and wait for that to push to happen. Uh, they need buybacks. They actually do not have it on the SF. And farming Meg Creeps takes a long time because they don't give that much cash. I don't know if you can get buyback by the time this push is going to come. Well, we'll see. Need a bait with the... They don't even have it on slot. They don't have it on both. They're important here. Or and now you can't, you can't even do that thing where you steal a lot of Helm of the uh, a lot of Mega Creep and push with them because you are like mind control or dominate is now locked to one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure that wasn't gonna yeah, work was, anyway. It was done in one game. It was done before. Yeah, I uh, thought one. Oh but no, not this okay. Creations mid one, Mansa's away, uh, but they do juke. Illusions. Wow, they're losing this Luna fast. Hey, uh, they do quite a bit of damage. Uh, Good job, Luna, Luna was focusing an illusion. Hurricane piked the wrong Shadow Fiend, and everyone else on Horde is just kind of watching the Luna die. They fed her a cheese, or they gave her a cheese. They should still have one floating around. Yeah, one on Underlord. Still. So, actually, they. Yeah, she still has cheese range in her backpack, creep. but. 133 piercing damage, that's... Oh, they stole another one. That will always be one. Elder. Oh, going for the Templar? And he doesn't have an Aegis, this guy does not come back. But, uh, mid one, gotta get crushed this time, but there is a bailout again from that Shadow Demon Pilot Eye, as well as the Earthshaker have got important drops in this fight. They're holding on pretty well. I'm starting to believe a little bit, are you? I don't think it's impossible, but you know. Um, I, it's not impossible, but I don't want to, you know, say that I believe in Secret's ability to win this game unless they actually take a reasonable fight. Like we we haven't seen Horde actually fight them yet. Like it's just been Luna walking in or a single hero walking in. They haven't all gone in and actually tried to fight Secret. And the reason is because if they do that, you get echo slammed. You face up against GA, and usually mm -hmm. things go pretty bad pretty quickly. Yeah. So they're, Aghanim's GA could be an anti-Mega Creep thing. You know, I feel like you know, if this game goes well, it could end up on... It could be one of those games that end up ends up on Reddit. <laughs> well, Definitely we have lofty can. aspirations, do we? Hey, I mean, you always gotta talk up a game, right? Always gotta. <laughs> we're going to Reddit, boys. This is where we're going. Yeah. Game 2, Secret vs. Horde. Front page, here we come. Give me them sweet internet points. Right. But uh, so far, it does look like Horde is not sure what to do. They have got two cheeses. They're like, okay, our Luna went down pretty fast. Maybe we should farm a little bit more. Gotta get Butterf that sweet four second loose and beam cooldown. Butterfly is her only like big defensive tool, or was before the MKB came up. So completing this satanic should be uh, you know a pretty big you deal know, as far as. It's time to shelf the you. helm. Actually, the helm still works if it's in your backpack. It. Yeah, the dominate yeah, still works, but the yeah. life steal and whatnot doesn't. It doesn't life steal anymore. Why you even get? You hold on to it. Or, it just yeah, gives yeah, you the, a the lot of life whatnot. regen. It's very hard to ke keep track. You know, these things have been in the game for so long, and then suddenly they are not because of version seven. Like, Feels bad, man. Ice Frog is making me stupider every single patch. Old school knowledge, more skill cap. But they have the Satanic now. 
So this is a big survivability item for Luna. I don't know if it's going to be enough for her to head-to-head -to -head the Shadow Fiend. Maybe it will, but Shadow Fiend has Omni Knight behind him with Lotus Solar Crest and all the auras in the world. I think there's a Vlad's floating around. Yeah, the Earthshaker picked up a Vlad's for the team as well. I don't think there's actually one on the Horde side. There is not. So yeah, like, they've just juiced up this Shadow Fiend to its max, and we're gonna have to try to figure out a way to kill him. I mean, the, he took the two more damage per soul, so now it's at, uh, how much is it? So it's 36 times 144. Four. A lot of, now a lot over, more damage. Man. And that's why I was wondering if Ags, because Ags gives him damage now too. I mean, as powerful as Ags would be, it's like, is it any more powerful than any of yeah. the other items in his inventory? I just want to see it. I want to see it too, but like Luna Ags, it's never going to happen. Luna Ags is something so cool mm -hmm. to see, but well, everyone play boring Luna. Well, they're getting their buybacks on secret. Mid one. And they still got a shrine up. That's spas. So, uh, do we just chill and wait for a third cheese? They still have two, right? Yeah, one on Luna, one on Underlord. She's got to do getting... some really quick swap. Yeah. She's also kind of getting six slotted here. I am I mean, you could... I guess keep power out. treads. You could get a moon shard, and that's pretty much it here for Luna, right? Yeah. Excalibur, kind of the same thing. Uh, Diffusal Blades, you can grade that, or at least side grade that, and you should be fine. You actually can um, build Aghanims. Aghanims, use your ulti, and then swap out an item. Your ulti can be used from so far away. Ooh, Slark. <laughs> He's gonna get a Maelstrom. Set him in the game. Mjolnir, even better. Trying to hold these Mega Creeps. Uh, I think uh, the supports should get a Helm. Uh, the ranged Mega Creeps do a lot of work. MP. Oh, they jumped. Uh, whoa! Where did he go? And now Keizu in trouble as well. He repels up. He will get himself out of there in time mid one. It's going to be able to man fight Gorge here. You gotta leap onto him. Oh, no. The Uber immediately bails out. Oh, MP! What the hell? He jumps. They, they bail out, but he dies immediately. Two lucky crits here from the uh, Threads the stock, and now they know it's time for re entry. It's on the sidelines there. It will be thankful that the Uber pulled them out, but Dundalot pulled them out for a while, but... Oh. Slop yeah. isn't a hero. Um... You know what I said about, like, not believing in secret until they win a fight? I'm not, I'm not sure if that's ever gonna happen now, like... I'm blaming Templar for that luck. They have to somehow fight with only yeah, SF they're, they're doing gonna have to clone Luna. damage. Clone Luna. Clone Luna. Oh no, Pablo! Pablo gets caught. He's, he will survive. The Echo Slam, that puppy does not let him get out of there. Yeah, Requiem of Souls is now mid one versus 12. Gonna need a lot of help here. Where's that Guardian Angel? Pop it. There we go. Pop that Guardian Angel. A lot of BKBs on the bottom mid one. Going ham. Yeah, fighting Gorge. He does get it. Crit one. Crit two stuns. Gets the kill mid one. Carrying his team. What? Excalibur says, what is going on? I thought we got block. I thought we dealt with the aquatic problem, but the shadowed. Shadow Fiend holds his ground and with that bloody Solar Crest stays alive. Oh man. Believe, Believe now, you're... Mike? Believe? Help without Slark. That was that was pretty Damn. impressive, I'm gonna say. Uh, yeah, just dumping all those auras uh, or like aura-ish effects on mid one. Uh, there is no MKB on Luna, so she was missing attacks on mid one. Uh, there is an MKB on TA, so she was not, but Seems like even without a, a you know kind of satanic-ish item on mid one, he's still just able to hold the line well enough. There's not enough damage coming out from Horde, even though it really felt like there should have been. Maybe there. Uh, I, I'm gonna assume that there was no haze in that fight, a corrosive haze on the Shadow Fiend because he got purged off by one of like the million sources that purges that effect. He had, he lost his AC in that, so maybe uh... having Slaughter alive would have made the difference there, but. Turns out SF with Omni Knight backup, casually 2v1ing the enemy carries. Still has buyback and Slark's backup, so game's still you, not over. Oh, 
Azu bought a mill strike. Should have gone for it. That, that item is gone. Yeah, definitely. Come on, man. In case you step up. Get more agonims on the board. Or you can go for, uh, you know, attack speed Omni Knight and try to clear. His attack speed is abysmal. I don't think there's... Yeah, Have you seen those hi help. YouTube highlights with carry on these? Those were pretty cool. Yeah, maybe if you, like, don't start with Dominator Lotus Solar Crest Mechanism. You're a hater. I am a hater. I like this, though. Divine Rapier in play on mid one. On, on mid one soon, I guess. Got level 25 talents, attack range, so... I mean, yeah, you can Hurricane Pike, you can blink in towards mid one. But, I mean, you weren't winning damage trades before. You're definitely not winning damage trades now. Money changes hands. I'm... Oh, okay. I've never seen all mean I haven't seen all the talent trees, actually. All the heroes, and some of them still surprise me. Like, Omni Knight's level 25 talent, 200 purification. That's a 500 bust heal and damage. I'm just surprised that Slark isn't at his level 25 talent right now. <laughs> Pushing an hour in the game, I'm not really sure if the 25 yeah, talents on Slark what? are really gonna make that much of a difference. Like, stats, I guess, is kind of nice here. Mm -hmm. You it's need to be able to man fight. It's a orb, like an improved ulti orb, which is pretty. It's a little 25 talent. Counts. Look at mid one. He's got 150 attack range. That's that's a silly talent upgrade right there. Yeah, silence is 200. What I know. All right, they're looking. Pablo, Mel's a shadow phoenix. Once it oh, the rapier. Did we did we see that one? Yeah, I said it one. like two times, dude. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at so many things. Okay, rapier. You you should have been more excited. I would have paid attention, but. Oh, sure, it's my fault now. Yeah, it's your fault. I see how it is. This mid one is now a, a new tower. He has boots for the rapier, the divine powers, the blade. I'm gonna blow this guy up. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Excalibur has got more charges, so we resist some of those hits. But I think mid one's gonna hit like a truck now. I'm excited they for have this to, game. I would like to just say hello uh, to Reddit. <laughs> yeah. The game is making it. Making it. You know we're, what? We still have four games to go. Four Navi games after. We're still about oh. 30 minutes and a secret comeback away from getting to that Reddit page. Oh, and they go they for lose Pablo, but Pablo has made a mistake. Pablo, gonna lose that soft Q Rocket team. Maybe. Oh, they're gonna get it, but Excalibur kills off one of the Shadow Demons, or kills off one of the Shadow Demons already. Mid one, the second one. Is he gonna be able to deal with the damage needed? Excalibur gets caught there by the slot, gets pinned down. Pinned down. Going in, Pablo still doing damage. The Lotus Orb is there. Ake is afraid to use spells. MP, be careful. Don't get crit again. No MP. But never mind. Divine Rapier mid one here to save the day. And the Lord. Off the second cheese, too many cheeses for mid one. He's trying to hold the line, but his team has let him down. Mid one's gonna fall, and that rapier goes down. And I think Secret are gonna call it. Are they gonna call it? They still have that rapier there. They're going for the throne. <laughs> oh, I think it is. It is really over. The Aegis is popped. Pablo goes in. He has that rapier. He's going ham oh. on that throne. He's losing his life. The amplified damage gets yeah, flexed over. though. The eclipse. Is it over? Yep, they spawn. No glyph. And then the Shadow Fiend goes down again. Block just melts it today.